Have you ever wondered how something invisible to the naked eye can bring the world to its knees? Let's take a moment to reflect on how history has been shaped not only by wars, revolutions, or technological advancements, but by invisible enemies, microscopic organisms that have forever altered the trajectory of human life. I was working in Georgia in 2020 when the virus hit. I felt sick and a few of my co-workers were out sick too. I rushed to the emergency room and they told me it was some kind of flu. It was early in the pandemic when the virus did not have a name. Needless to say, I got over it, but it was pure hell I thought I was going to die. Imagine the year 1918. The world was caught in the grip of the Spanish flu, an influenza pandemic that claimed the lives of tens of millions of people worldwide. This invisible enemy, a mere virus, had the power to halt the world in its tracks, causing more casualties than the Great War that preceded it. Fast forward to the early 1980s. A new unseen foe emerged, this time known as HIV-AIDS. This relentless adversary attacking the very defense system of our bodies brought about a global health crisis that is still being battled today over four decades later. Now, let's journey to the recent past, the year 2020. The world was introduced to a novel adversary, COVID-19. This invisible enemy swept across continents, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. It changed the way we live, work, and interact with one another. These pandemics, these unseen enemies, have demonstrated their power to disrupt our lives and shape our history. They have taught us that the world's greatest threats may not come from nuclear weapons or climate change, but from microscopic organisms that can multiply within us, unseen and unnoticed, until it's too late. Now, as we navigate through the aftermath of COVID-19, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of a new era, an era that might be defined by yet another invisible enemy, an unknown entity that the World Health Organization has already named, Disease X. But what if we told you there's a new threat looming on the horizon, Disease X? Disease X isn't a science fiction concept, it's a term coined by the World Health Organization. Let's take a step back in time to when Disease X was first introduced to the world. It wasn't with a dramatic outbreak or a sensational news headline. Instead, it was quietly added to the World Health Organization's list of priority diseases in 2018. But what is Disease X? In the simplest terms, Disease X is a placeholder. It represents a hypothetical, unknown pathogen that could cause a future epidemic or pandemic. It's not one specific disease but rather a concept. A reminder that our world is full of unknowns, and that the next big health crisis could be caused by something we've yet to discover. The introduction of Disease X into the WHO's list was a wake-up call, an urgent reminder of the constant threat of emerging diseases. It highlighted the need for flexible and dynamic systems that can respond effectively to unknown pathogens. Behind the scenes, scientists around the globe are tirelessly working to prepare for Disease X. They're developing innovative technologies and strategies to identify unknown pathogens, studying disease patterns, and creating flexible response systems. It's a race against time, a quest to stay one step ahead of the next major disease outbreak. But here's a sobering thought. Disease X is not a matter of if, but when. History has shown us that new diseases will continue to emerge. With our interconnected world, the potential for a quick spreading disease is greater than ever before. Yet in the face of this uncertainty, we're not helpless. The very concept of Disease X is a testament to our proactive approach to global health threats. It's a call to action, urging us all to remain vigilant, to support scientific research, and to uphold practices that protect our collective health. So the question remains, what could be the potential impact of Disease X? Imagine a disease more contagious than the common flu and more deadly than Ebola. A chilling thought, isn't it? Let's delve into the potential impact of Disease X. This hypothetical, yet highly probable disease, could bring a global health crisis of unprecedented proportions. The World Health Organization puts it high on its list of priority diseases for research, and for good reason. Picture a world where hospitals are unable to keep up with the influx of patients. Healthcare systems, even in the most developed countries, could be pushed to their limits. A scenario where medical professionals are overwhelmed, facilities are stretched thin, and vital resources are scarce. In terms of global economy, the impact of Disease X could be equally devastating. Imagine major cities in lockdown, businesses shuttered, stock markets crashing, and unemployment rates soaring. International trade could be paralyzed, leading to a global recession or worse, a depression. The social implications are just as grim. 
schools could close leaving education in limbo, public events could be cancelled, and social gatherings could become a thing of the past. The very fabric of our society could be strained, as fear and uncertainty permeate every aspect of our lives. But disease X is also an unpredictable beast. We don't know where it will start, how fast it will spread, or how severe its impact will be. Its unpredictability is what makes it so dangerous. It could be a slow-burning threat that takes years to fully emerge, or it could explode onto the scene with little warning, leaving devastation in its wake. The severity of disease X, however, is not to be underestimated. Even with modern medicine and technology, the potential for a pandemic of this magnitude could outpace our ability to respond effectively. It could reshape our world in ways we can't even begin to comprehend. But is there anything we can do to prepare for disease X? The answer to that question is not simple, but it's one we must strive to find. As we move forward, let's remember that preparation, vigilance, and scientific research are our best defenses against this unseen enemy. Preparation is our best defense against disease X. So, how do we prepare for an unknown enemy? The answer lies in three key strategies, strengthening global surveillance systems, investing in research and development, and promoting public health education. Our first line of defense is a robust global surveillance system. This means a network of laboratories, hospitals, and research institutions that are constantly monitoring and reporting on disease activity. They're like the watchtowers on the walls of our global health castle, always on the lookout for new threats. By strengthening this system, we can detect disease X early, before it has a chance to spread. Investing in research and development is our second strategy. It's like arming ourselves with the best possible weapons. This includes developing new vaccines, treatments, and diagnostic tools. But it also means investing in basic scientific research, because sometimes understanding the enemy is half the battle. With adequate resources, our scientists can stay one step ahead of disease X. Our third strategy is promoting public health education. This is our shield, protecting us from disease. It involves teaching people about good hygiene practices, the importance of vaccination, and how to recognize the signs of disease. Public health education empowers each one of us to be a soldier in the fight against disease X, armed with knowledge and prepared to take action. But remember, while these strategies are crucial, they're not enough on their own. The real power lies in individual responsibility. Each one of us has a role to play in disease prevention. This could be as simple as washing your hands regularly, getting vaccinated, or staying home when you're sick. Every action counts. Think of it this way. Every time you take a preventive measure, you're not just protecting yourself, you're also protecting your community. You're helping to build a wall of immunity that disease X can't break through. Disease X may be an unknown, but it's not an undefeatable enemy. Our preparation is our strength and together we can stand strong against disease X. Today, we've journeyed into the world of disease X, a potential future pandemic. As we've explored this unseen enemy, we've discovered that it's not just a figment of imagination, but a real threat that could emerge at any time. Our journey began with the discovery of disease X. Like a plot out of a thriller novel, this disease is an unknown entity, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right conditions to emerge. It's a reminder that our world is full of surprises, some of which are not so pleasant. But it's not all doom and gloom. The fact that we're aware of the possibility of disease X means we're one step ahead. We then delved into the potential impact of disease X. It's a sobering thought that a single disease has the potential to change the course of our lives, our societies, even our civilization. But again, knowledge is our ally. Understanding the potential impact allows us to prepare in ways that can mitigate some of the worst outcomes. Which brings us to the heart of the matter. Preparation. We've seen how early detection, rapid response, and effective communication are crucial in managing a pandemic situation. We've also highlighted the importance of research and development in creating vaccines and treatments. In short, the more prepared we are, the better we can respond to disease X, or any other disease for that matter. But let's not forget the role each of us can play. Vigilance is key. Paying attention to our health, following hygiene practices, and staying informed about the latest health news can help prevent the spread of diseases. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and together we can face any challenge that comes our way. Share your thoughts about Disease X in the comments below.